friends welcome to wings of arrow advanced education and research organization it's a venue for open source library engineering jobs events and merging technical fields into new dimensions of research in this video lecture i will solve a problem based on supersonic aerodynamics which are asking gate aerospace 2020 if you are a gate aspirant or preparing for this particular topic i will be suggesting you to follow this following textbooks don't forget to subscribe or visit to our website for further updates first question a wedge shaped airfoil is placed in supersonic flow in figure not in scale the corners of the wedge are at x a x b and x c respectively as shown in figure which of the following represents the correct static pressure profile along y1 and y2 these are the following four options so you can see the figure at supersonic flow when a supersonic wedge is inclined up and down at an angle alpha from a free steam mach number across the section xa the mach number decreases but the pressure and the temperature increases across the oblique shock wave again observing the section xb at the upper curve referring the point b the surface ab and bc the bc is deflected down which will be lead to an formation of expansion shock wave that is the mach number increases with gradual decrease in pressure and temperature across the expansion shock wave so based on this following concept we can clearly observe the following curve which had been given as an option so you can see the d is a perfect answer because you can see at the point x a the pressure is gradually increasing at the upper profile and at the x b point after delay of that some particular point it is gradually decreasing the pressure at the rear part across the x a section the pressure is gradually increasing in the down curvature and remains constant with the throughout the x a x b and x c so the right option is option d an oblique shock wave is inclined at an angle of 35 degrees to the upstream flow of velocity 517.56 meter per second the deflection of the flow due to this shock is 5.75 degrees and the temperature downstream is 182.46 kelvin assume the gas constant r equals to 287 joule per kg kelvin specific heat ratio gamma equals to 1.4 and specific heat at constant pressure cp is 1005 joule per kg kelvin using conservation relation mach number of the upstream flow can be obtained as round off to one decimal place they have asked the question from oblique shock wave in this oblique shock wave we can see in the figure they have first given this shock angle beta 35 degree then they have given the velocity 517.56 meter per second then flow deflection theta 5.75 degree temperature 182.46 kelvin gas constant specific heat and specific heat ratio is also given where what we need to find is here that the mach number so we can simply recall the theta beta mach number relation tan theta equals to 2 cot beta m square sin square beta minus 1 by m square gamma plus cos 2 beta plus 2 
so by simply substituting the values of theta and beta and from there we can simplify uh, to this in terms of mach number after resolving the mach number we get mach number about 1.99 we can round off to one decimal place that is Mach number becomes 2.0 as per the answer key given by IIT Delhi it is about 1.9 to 2.1 which is an advisable range. Hope this solution was very helpful for you all. Don't hesitate to ask queries either in comment box or drop a mail in wingsofarrow at gmail.com. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get further notifications. Thank you for watching the video and fly high.